Now I've had a couple clients that have always had hip pain. Different activities have caused this to flare up. One of the most common types of hip pain we get is usually related to the psoas or the iliopsoas, the IT band, or the tenor fascia latte. Today we're really going to focus on the tenor fascia latte and no, that is not a new drink at Starbucks. The tenor fascia latte or the TFL originates on the outside of your ASIS or the pelvis and inserts onto your IT band. Now often a lot of times when people think they're having pain in the hip, or they're thinking it might be the IT band, it usually is the TFL. So the TFL helps to medially rotate the femur as well as working to abduct the femur. It also works with the other muscles, including your psoas, your glutes, to flex the hip. And it works to balance your body weight during exercise, such as running and walking. And as I just mentioned, your psoas, your glutes, your IT band, your TFL all work together. Those are synergistic muscles that really work together to do certain activities. And specifically, tightening of the TFL can lead to a lot of pain and swelling. A lot of people usually find that they have their pain surrounding around the TFL at night when sleeping. So if you're finding that you're having pain in your hips from sleeping, or when you move your leg a certain way, it could be your TFL. And the TFL can have issues that are brought on by things such as excessive excessive walking, running, or excessive sitting. And a lot of people will use foam rolling to work the TFL, but foam rolling doesn't address the underlying issue, and it's often not enough to reduce these pain and swelling. So in today's practice, we have eight yoga poses that are really gonna help to open the hips, and we're really gonna focus on stretching out your psoas, your IT band, your tenor fascia latte, and some of the other surrounding muscles such as the glutes. So grab your mat and let's get started. We're gonna start in Anjanasana, or low lunge. Coming from a tabletop position, step one foot forward. Place your hands on your front leg. And keeping your pelvis in a neutral position, gently guide your hips forward, stretching the front of the leg and the hip. Now we're going to come into Baddha Konasana, or a seated fold, bringing the soles of the feet together, making sure you're sitting tall on top of the sit bones, fold over your feet. If this is too uncomfortable, you can cross the legs in and do a seated fold from this position. Try to stay in this position to a spot where you're comfortable for at least 10 breaths. Every pose that we're going to do today, try to stay there for 10 full breaths unless otherwise stated before moving on to the next pose. Next, we're gonna move into Agnes Stepastana or fire log pose. This is great for stretching the hips and the groin. Stack your legs one on top of the other with your feet into the knee crease. You can either stack the hands on the legs or take the hands to the floor in front. You could also use a yoga block, a bolster, or a pillow placed in your lap to let the pose be a little more gentle. Try to have this be like a crisscross pose, but more open with your legs stacked like fire logs. Hold for 10 full breaths before moving on to the other side. Extend the legs out before you and shake them out in between sides. Breathe deeply into all of the poses today, finding some expansion in your body on the inhale and more release into the pose as you exhale. Now we're going to move into Gamu Kusana or Cow Face Pose. This is great at stretching the hips and the thighs. With feet flat and knees bent, bring one leg and one foot to the outside of the opposite hip. Then stacking the other leg on top, 
trying to bring your knees stacked one over the other the best that you can. Holding on to your feet, round forward and bring your forehead towards the knee of the top leg. Breathe deeply for 10 breaths before moving on to the other side. Now we're going to move into reclining pigeon. Laying on your back with your knees bent and your feet flat, bring your feet and knees in line with your hips and shoulders. Cross one leg over, making a figure four and gently resting the ankle and foot on your thigh. Using the same hand, gently guide the knee towards the front of the room to help open up your hip. Stay in reclining pigeon for 20 full breaths or longer if you like. After your 20 full breaths, let's move in to thread the needle. Taking one hand through the whole of your figure four, interlace your hands behind the back of the other leg's thigh. Extend that leg up into the air, flexing your foot and pushing through your heel. You can also curl your forehead up towards that leg. Do this for 10 full breaths before moving into reclining pigeon on the other side. Again, crossing the leg over like a figure four, and using the same hand, gently guiding the knee forward. Hold reclining pigeon for 20 breaths or more and hold thread the needle for about 10 breaths. Thread the needle is great at stretching the hamstrings in the back of the leg. So try to extend that foot to the floor and lengthen that leg the best that you can during this pose. From reclining pigeon, we're gonna move into supported bridge. Keeping your feet flat, your knees bent, and again your feet and your knees in line with your hips, you can place a block on the middle level or a bolster underneath your hips, letting your hips rise up into the air. Bring your hands out by the side with your palms up and close your eyes. Stay in supported bridge for 20 full breaths or more depending on how you feel. Make sure the block or the bolster is not in your low back. It's placed right underneath where you would be wearing a belt, more towards your glutes. The next pose is great for releasing the psoas. Flip the block down to the very low level and extend your legs long on the mat, letting your feet and your knees roll out. Again, make sure the block is more on the glutes and not in the small back. Hold this for 20 full breaths.
Now we are going to move on to Eka Para Raja Pagnasa, or Pigeon. I'm going to walk you into Pigeon from a modified version. Coming into tabletop, step your right leg forward and bring your foot to the left side of your mat with your right knee a little more on the outside of your right hip. You can place a block or a bolster underneath your right side to help keep your pelvis balanced and neutral towards the floor. Keep your left leg extended long behind you and fold to the floor. Try to stay comfortable in this pose for 20 full breaths or more without fidgeting and try to keep your pelvis squared to the floor. If you would like to come into this from downward dog and you're familiar with pigeon, go ahead and do that. In between sides, I will be pressing back into child's pose. If you're familiar with pigeon and coming into it from downward dog, you can press into downward dog from side to side. To change sides, come into tabletop and step the left foot forward. Walk the left foot to the right side of the mat. Extend the right leg long and slip the block under the left side, making sure your left knee is to the outside of your left hip and then fold. Again, staying here for 20 full breaths or longer. We're going to end our practice in Supta Baddha Konasana. Laying on your back, bring the soles of the feet together, letting the knees fall out to the side like a book. If you need to and you're super tight, you can place a bolster or block under the knees and thighs of the legs, one on each side. Bring your hands out to your side with your palms up. Bring your awareness into your breath. Again, expanding the body on the inhale and finding a little more release on the exhale. Letting your low back release into the mat and letting your knees release towards the floor. Letting gravity pull them down into the earth. Stay here for as long as you like before pulling your knees in and coming up. I will be ending the video, so if you like to stay in Supta Baddha Konasana longer, please pause the video before getting into the position. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see the rest of the Pilates, yoga, and other videos that I'll be uploading on my channel, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button. Go over and check out my blog, I post a lot over there. And while you're over there, don't forget to follow me on social media, and those links are in the description box to this video. Please show me some love by giving a big thumbs up, and if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them in the comments below, and I will address them and get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching, and remember, be happy, be healthy, and be well. Namaste.